gosh. I love it. Oh no, I got a problem. Your shock bolt is loose? No, low tire pressure. I wasn't falling for it that time. I got a joke for y'all. How many Jeeps does it take to escort a forerunner down a trail? Oh man, that was harsh. What's up everyone? We're Matt and Kara with Ozark Overland Adventures. Hey guys, and Goose. And Goose. And we are not in Arkansas. <laughs> we are right outside of Georgetown, Colorado at kind of the, the base of McClellan Mountain. We got here yesterday afternoon, immediately wanted to go up to McClellan Mountain because that's our last name and I like to say, that's my mountain. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I'll go ahead and say, we've started out making a huge mistake. <laughs> um, because we just got to Colorado and most of us, no, all of us live in 500 feet elevation and below. We're camped at like 12,000. <laughs> and we're camped at just over 12,000 feet. Way to hit the road running. It's, uh, it's, it's not a good way to break the trip to Colorado. So if you're ever in Colorado, acclimate, um, yourself. acclimate yourself before just jumping in and camping at 12,000 feet because last night sucked. Yeah, the sleeping was bad. Just turning over in bed, couldn't breathe. Yeah, the sleeping, sleeping uh, was the worst it was part. Rough. But other than um, James is not feeling well at all, so we're gonna get him down to lower elevation to just kind of recoup. But we've got most of the gang here. We've got Ben and his parents with us. They're loading up. You may notice that's not Ben's. Uh, that's not Ben's Jeep. Ben, where's your Jeep? It broke. <laughs> It's being fixed. Though. It's being it actually is fixed. It got fixed the day he left and he wasn't able to get it. Uh, but he is in Robert's Forerunner. Robert was kind enough to loan Ben his Forerunner for this trip. We'll see how many things he breaks on it. Yeah, and Robert and John are Robert and John are with us, but they decided not to camp here just because of the wind. Uh, maybe maybe may have been a wise decision. Um, uh, we got James and Betsy over there. Karen and I are in our own rigs. Um, so we're about to head down this mountain and go back down into Georgetown and then go run some trails and then find another lower elevation epic camp tonight. Yeah, let's go. So we are actually here in Colorado for seven full days. We will be making our way a little bit south here from Georgetown into Leadville. We will eventually on Monday be running Holy Cross. Um, from there, we go north. We're gonna hop over to Glenwood Springs and explore the whole area north uh, from Glenwood Springs, basically over to Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, so with the exception of one trail, this one up to McClellan Mountain, and tomorrow going over Mosquito Pass. Those are the only two trails that, uh, that, that Karen and I have done before. No one else has done them. Uh, so we are super excited to be exploring brand new ground this is what we love to do it's just to go out and explore and there's I, I think it's gonna be a fantastic week so um, if you're watching this and not subscribed be sure and go down and hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification right now uh, because you don't want to miss all the videos that are coming out of this trip I think they're just gonna be be amazing and we, we're running a mixture of you know, beautiful trails, scenic trails, technical trails, hardcore trails. Um, so it's going to be a whole lot of fun for us.
they panning for gold over there? It's probably fool's gold. We used to do that when we were kids up here sometimes with my, when we came up once with my mom and dad. They're definitely looking for something. I was convinced it was gold, but dad ruined it for me. Man, what did you hear down to? The Smitty built gauge said 15, but I don't know if I can trust that. It looks pretty flat back here. I feel like there should be a moose down in there. Well, we are on Webster Pass. We're not going to do all of Webster Pass, but just to, just a radical hill. But we are on Webster Pass, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And look out there. Low-lying meadow areas, absolutely beautiful. Not a technical trail at all. That forerunner said he struggled up here, been in a couple spots, and decided to come back and turn around because he didn't have any spotters or any help. But, um, but he didn't have any lockers either. Should be interesting. He also probably wasn't an expert. Just remember, you're you're not an expert in the forerunner, just an expert in the Jeep. I'm gonna bank on my experience. If I were Robert, I'd be a little nervous about Ben driving my forerunner. I wore my trust your spotter shirt today, just for the occasion. Well done. Oh. All right, the forerunner is going to be interesting. Ooh, I don't know if he's going to make that turn. It's getting real close to digging in on the front. Whoa! He's about to dig into the front bumper. Are you sure? I mean, it's going to be pretty serious. Whoa. He'll be alright once he climbs. He's just got to start climbing. He'll be okay. There he goes. There he goes. All right, straighten up, Ben. You got it. Straighten up. There you go. Yeah. Good job, Ben. We're the Jeepers Drive Full Runners, <laughs> part one. You got it, James. Got 
got it. Whoa. Well done. Well done. Everybody did great on that one. That was awesome. your diff. Your diff's hitting. Yeah. I'd, I'd go if you... There you go. I think you're going to have to lock it up. I think she's gonna come right here. He's hung up on the belly. There we go. Done. Well done, Ben. Good job, Robert. All right, well, Ben is doing really good on the Forerunner. Robert's rocking the Jeep. I mean, we may have a we may have a thing here. Robert may be a diehard Jeeper, and you know, Ben may convert to a Forerunner. <laughs> Toyota forever. <laughs> Watch the spin. Radical Hill is turning out to be a lot of fun. It's a good one. We've got a real narrow shelf road section up next. And by real narrow, I think it's real narrow. But I'm liking this a lot.
I'm, I'm told by the off-roading experts that it helps when your sway bar is disconnected, and mine wasn't back there. Yeah, that's important. Hey, Matt, you should probably try disconnecting your sway bar. James, we're about 12,000 feet, and you've done some walking. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. I don't want to sleep at 12,000 feet, but I'm feeling all right. That worked. You gotta go your own way. Stay driver. There you go. Now straighten up. There we go. There we go. Well done. There you go. All right. Now cut back straight. Got it. Well done. Well, uh, the Forerunner has a leak at the front diff. It does look like the CV is wet. Look at the CV. It looks, it looks moist. Definitely, you might have broke the CD. Look at all that. Yep. Well, Ben broke the Forerunner. We're not sure how bad, but uh, we're gonna try to get it, you know, off the trail so we can inspect it better. We'll see what happens. Well, we have made it to the super sketchy I'm shop. I'm gonna for this one. <laughs> Oh, we've made it to the super sketchy narrow shelf road. This uh, this looks fun. Yeah, this looks fun. And the fun part is, it's starting to rain. I was about to launch my drone to get this from the drone's perspective, but it's uh, raining a little too much for my comfort level for the drone. So here we go. Uh, 
oh, okay, I think this is the super sketchy narrow part. Yeah. Off camber, on a shelf road. Oh, this is so sketchy. Oh my lord. 27 degrees. Oh shit. Like this. All right, let me have the radio, guys. All right, just keep coming straight, just like you are. Say, just like you are. You're doing great, just ride that. Uh, a little more faster. A little more faster. There you go. Get you in there. Yeah, that was horrible. That's the worst feeling ever. John, you think we got a lady here? You let them uh, back in that little spot right there and let them pass it? You can go a little higher on the wall there, Robert. A little more driver. Driver. Rather than that wall. Just let me lay out. There you go. Now it's that back pass. There you go. That's sketchy. My back tire slipped off while I go. Yeah, that way, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I didn't get it on camera, but a motorcyclist just, uh, rolled down part of the hill. He was trying to move over enough and he just slipped. The other guys barreled straight down the hill like a bunch of morons. He was trying to do the right thing and stay straight, but instead of backing up in the trail, he just stayed where he was and then in trying to move his bike around, he, he, he fell right down there. Crazy sketchy. Dang. Well, I see now why they call it Radical Hill. Yeah, it's definitely earning the name. This is the sketchiest thing I've ever done. I'm pretty sure. Like this is more sketch than than, than Pritchett. Hey, Kara, driver tire just straight up that rock. Turn into it. There you go, straight upward. Doing great. Back tire's climbing. There you go.
We're alive. 26 degrees with it raining on shell. Yeah. Yeah, how's, how'd Goose do? <laughs> the Goose care? I mean, he's just kind of chilled. <laughs> Good job, Goose. He's like, what happened? Yeah, well, I what do we do? Sketch. We're alive! Barely. Your, your dad's trying to jump out. He's been trying to jump out. T it's tuck and roll, Dave. Yeah, the views from up here are just unreal. High risk, high reward, and it gets 360 degrees. What you think, Goose? What you think, Goose? Say hi. Say hi. Man, that's so far down. Oh, did you see the lightning? After running Radical Hill, driving over these beautiful alpine tundras, is a nice change of pace. This is the Continental Divide right here, right? Uh, pretty much, yeah. This is gorgeous. Is everybody as tired as I am? That trail was pretty tiring. The idea we're going to camp out tonight? I got some possibilities marked out. driving and not knowing what it was and now they keep on driving it forever just because this is the trail that never ends pop it up pop it up it goes on and on my friend well we have made it to camp and I think like we're gonna get a little bit of rain tonight but god what an amazing day today it's just such way cool trails beautiful trails technical trails um wow it was a lot of fun and turns out we don't think ben actually damaged the forerunner some diff fluid did leak out but we, we can't find any you know specific uh damage to it so we don't know what happened but uh i mean ben still did it though tomorrow we take off um we're gonna do wheeler lake we're doing mosquito pass uh, going into Leadville tomorrow. So tomorrow's gonna be another, I think, pretty amazing day. Oh, oh, goose, 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 goose. Oh, okay. Oh.
You don't think this through. Okay, jump. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, Goose is ready. Here you go, baby. Here you go, out. I mean, you can if you want to. It's a lot of highway miles. How many? Uh, 20 to 30. I mean, I drove from Moab to Crested Butte with no sway bars on my And whose tires were those? Mine. Whose tires are those? Mine. <laughs> I don't think you bought that from Robert yet. I don't remember him offering that for sale. Yet. Trails. Holy Cross is the only one left that we haven't done. We are at the Wheeler Lake Trailhead, and I think everybody's just about aired down. I went down to 14 psi. Uh, pretty sure Kara. Went down to 12. Wheeler Lake's supposed to be a doozy, so it should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, I mean, already here, I mean, just, just here at the trailhead, it is gorgeous. So I'm really looking forward to getting up to Wheeler Lake. I think we'll have lunch there, and uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be good. All right, let's do this. Waiting for you. I guess I gotta roll forward to disconnect my sway bar. Just push the button and start driving, it'll disconnect. Oh, this is cool. Well, we're at our first stop. What kind of bump was that? We're at, uh, I think it's called D-Notch. You can turn a little driver now if you want. Not much. You can rock right there. Right, pass it. Gotta straighten it out. Right, Matt, whenever, if you can hear me, I want you to spot me. I want to go high on the driver's side and kind of ride that out and put my passenger tire on the right wing arm. You locked?
As you come up, there you go, right there, perfect. Come on. All right. There you go, little passenger. There you go. Very good. Just ride that out. Yep, just ride it out. Perfect. Well done, babe. Thank you. That was awesome. Ben is getting expert advice. Here, Scanner. Who's giving expert advice? You are. From the Forerunner expert on how to do this obstacle. <laughs> More driver! More driver! What? Ride it out. Come on. Straight, Dave. James, straight. Got it. Well, Wheeler Lake is starting off a whole lot of fun. I mean, just two obstacles back to back. Let's we'll see what's next. Hey, Robert, if you zoom in on Gaia, it'll show Wheeler Lake up at the end of this trail. There's another small lake past that you can hike to. Don't say they're too loud, Dave will hear you. Alright, we're at the, I think the third and really last major obstacle. Um, there's a couple different lines. Kara, ooh, Kara wants to try this. I think it may be doable. It's just the, that rock is just so slick. Then there's this one over here, which is the more commonly used obstacle. I think you're probably gonna 
you slip it and have to winch. It is a little different wheelbase. You got a shorter wheelbase on this one. Ben's contemplating it in the forerunner. <laughs> he's he's tried. Draw more. Come on. Come on. You're not you're not fixing to flip over yet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Let it crawl. Let it crawl. Feels like it's slipping. It's the back tire fix to start coming up. So come on a little further. A little further. Come on. Come on. You got it. Yeah. You're gonna have to stack a rock underneath that back tire. Well, they gave it a valiant effort in the forerunner. Good try, Ben. Had to. Had to try it. Still want a Toyota? Uh, yeah. Not Where, where's your Toyota Jeep? Uh... For hardcore stuff, Jeep all the way. But for dirt roads, mild overlanders, it's Toyota. <laughs> So it has started to hail on us, and Robert's gonna try to do this in the hail. Little, little passenger, Robert, little passenger. There you go, there you go. Now hug driver, hug driver. Hug driver. Oh goodness, we're getting really hailed. All right, all right, right there. Straighten up and bump it, ow. There you go, oh dang. All right, come driver. Ow! This hurts. There you go. Whoa! Hard, hard pass. Hard pass. Oh, he's gonna have it. All right, be not to do. All right, James is gonna take one of the alternate lines. This is way too slick now. But maybe he's good for this. Come on. You doing good? Right now you can start working passenger. Right there. Yep. All right, straighten it out. Oh. There you go. Okay. Yep. Work me. Uh, I'd turn a little driver to keep that, keep, come on. That, keep that back end up. Come on. Driver. There we go. All right, the rain's starting to slack off. Robert is letting Ben drive his Jeep up here. Should be good. Come on. He's coming. Come on. There it goes. Right, a little more passenger. Yep. Straighten it out a little bit. Hey, oh, that's too much. Come on, come on. Come on. stopped and the lake is next I don't think there's any other major obstacles between here and there well that one got really wet and very slippery too. 
Yep, and we have to all go back that way. So the reason I have my Gladiator built the way I do on three and a half inch lift and 38s is so that I can do trails like this and approach rocks like that and go, eh, no biggie. That way, no matter where I want to go on my adventures, I'm pretty confident that I can get there. There's big rocks in the water, so just make sure y'all watch where y'all go. that Matt and Kara's rods do stand out a lot more than ours do on these uh, green slopes. Yeah, I said that um, the other day once we all got together. The way for Matt and Kara, we have a monochrome group. Kara and John are definitely getting their love for rock crawling in the last couple days. Yeah, they've been good trails. No complaints for me. I just don't like the little boulders. Guys, look at that waterfall. That is gorgeous. And the sun's coming out as we get up here. Perfect. Wow, this is incredible. What you think, Ben? Insane. Like, speechless. This was worth the effort. Wheeler Lake was an incredible trail. Lots of fun, lots of technical spots. It was a blast and definitely worth the effort to get up here. Wow. Come on, guys. Come on, buddy. boy well this was incredible we've got to make our way back down we've got to get over mosquito pass and don't want to have to rush that because it is just gorgeous and then on the other side of mosquito pass we'll find camp so that's the goal we, we want to get to camp early enough that we can actually sit around the campfire and enjoy it because last two nights we've we haven't been able to do that 
So that's the goal. We're gonna roll out of here and get down the mountain. I'm not sure how much of that we will film. Um, because we need to get the Mosquito Pass. So here we go. The view going downhill is quite spectacular. Speed this up. Not yet. Now you hit. Now you're coming. Now you're coming. And you're down. There you go. That way, right, right there. Come on. A little more. What? I know. Yeah, I need it. You got it. Hold it. Stay straight. Stay straight. Come on. Yeah, he did. Lift it too. Okay. <laughs> Just it, not as much. It didn't feel crazy. And we're down. God, that looks beautiful. Well, we made it to Mosquito Pass, and this is the current situation. Lots and lots of rain. Hopefully it will blow over, but if not, we're gonna make the best of it. Killing me that I can't fly my drone. It's just so beautiful through here. I want to be able to, to show you all of it. What if Pixar did a movie instead of Cars? It was just a movie about Jeep or off-road vehicles, and they went over landing. It'd be a pretty slow-going movie. rocks coming down. I can definitely feel the change in elevation. Are you having to hit the oxygen again? Oh, I want that rain to go away. 
Yeah, we just have it strapped and one to it. It's killing me that I can't fly my drone. And I probably could, but it's too bad. But look at that. Look how incredible that is. He's at 97%. He's good. James is struggling with his oxygen up here. Have you been taking hits off that boost? Can we go play in the snow? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of snow over there. I think y'all should have another race down it. I agree. We made it to the pass, 13,185 feet. And you can't see squat. This is completely ridiculous. We made it. Yay. <laughs> Y'all better read fast because I'm freezing my butt off. All right, you got five, four, three, Two, one. You've done really good today, Goose. You're the best wingman ever. Well, here's our current situation. We are on a shelf road, 13,155 feet in elevation. And the clouds are thick and I can't see squat. And what you can't see is just how gorgeous the view is from here. So just, just use your imagination of some beautiful mountain scene here. And Man, that white messes with your eyes. Yeah, it does. Here, you getting good, good film of the cloud there? I asked her to take a video to show how you couldn't see anything. There you go. See? Can't see nothing. I think she did a good job of it. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Looks like a polar bear in a snowstorm. I promise it's gorgeous down there. This is insane. We can't see anything. <laughs> like nothing's out the window. Pretty sure there's a clip there. Oh, fun. A switchback. At least it's a wide one. Drive off into the clouds. However, we are venturing off Mosquito Pass and are going on Bird's Eye Gulch. Never done this one before, but it gets lower in elevation and below the clouds, so that's plus. I think Bird's Eye Gulch is rated a 5 out of 10, so it shouldn't be too bad. I can't say with absolute certainty, but I think it's really beautiful through here. You know, if we could, you know, I could see better. I would not be upset if the rain and the clouds went away at some time soon. This is quite beautiful. This is pretty off camera kind here. Of noodles. We have a gluten-free. They don't want those. No, definitely don't want gluten-free noodles. I'll take what I can get. Okay, I don't like the off camera slipperiness because that's down there. Don't like it at all. No. Uh, can you please come back or slow down so that way you can help your wife if she feels like she's about to go off a cliff? This is wild. I mean, this is unlike any trail I've ever done in Colorado. But look down there, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful.
the clouds are starting to part blue sky is starting to return but just not where we are yet oh that's beautiful oh that's gorgeous Well, this is new. I've never crossed a train track in the woods before. That's kind of cool. There's an old things I need for this trip. A longer lens and a forward facing camera. Well, the Bird's Eye Gulch has one thing it is variety. This trail has surprised me a lot. Well, not too far after the train tracks, we found this incredible camp. Um, I mean, look how big it is. What do you think? It's great. You like it? I'm glad we didn't pick the train track. I know, I am too. Because we, we would have passed this tomorrow and been like, dang it. <laughs> this place is huge. It's awesome. And it's tucked in the trees. What do you think, babe? I found some un unidentifiable poop. Like what? a lot of poop. Like a bear? Or, do or elk? And it's Moose? Round. Uh, you like uh, no, you lost me. Walnutish. If if Bear's you know cat. what walnutish poop looks it's a like, lot. put Bear's it in the cat. put it in the comments. The same shape, I think. I think it's bear scat. I don't know. Let me see. I'm you want to show you? Yeah. Oh. Let's go for a walk. Let's just go on an adventure. <laughs> but I mean, look at this campsite. It's massive. And there's like tons of space in here. What do you think, James? Perfect. What do you think, Robert? Don't work. I'm super pumped because we got here early enough. It's not even seven o'clock yet. We get to cook dinner. We get to hang out by the fire tonight. I'm excited. All right, for dinner tonight, let's see. We got spaghetti. And James doesn't have his going yet, but they're making, what are you having? Buffalo, Buffalo chicken burgers. Buffalo chicken burgers. Y'all gonna have extras? Yep. Sweet. And he's he's trying my skriddle for the first time. With blue cheese sauce. Oh. Oh. And then over here, I'm cooking up some shrimp with kind of a makeshift bang bang sauce, but more like a yum yum sauce because I forgot the sweet chili sauce. So it'll work. Fridge, right? Typically eat all the stuff that I make. What are we eating? We're getting there. It's look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had an incredible day today. We've eaten dinner. We're sitting by the fire, um, cleaning up after dinner, uh, copying files and stuff to the laptop but what an incredible day did y'all have fun today yeah yeah i'm the only one so you are the only one man. only ben's did y'all have fun today oh yeah absolutely oh yeah y'all are lame <laughs> that wheeler lake was epic wheeler lake was good
this is our third third full day yeah. in Colorado on our seven and a half day trip around the, the northern section of Colorado but this has been really one of the highlights uh, of this trip that we wanted to conquer a little nerves a little nervous yeah a little it's, nervous it's a this is one. the toughest jeep badge of honor trail in colorado and it's the only jeep badge trail that we haven't done yet yep. so super pumped to get this one knocked out i'm i, I don't think this is going to be much more difficult than what we've done so far <laughs> are you serious i feel like you're not I but i like could be not. wrong yeah because <laughs> everything be that carrie with robert said she was reading and it it makes me it's nervous. a hardcore trail but we'll we'll we're, we're about to find hours out hours to do it this could trail. potentially take seven hours um, it better not take so seven we hours. We're, we're prepared to like spend the night if we need to no no we're not actually um spoiler alert um you know just for all you hardcore overlanders out there hate to disappoint but we're getting a hotel tonight yeah after running all across we're gonna go spend the night in glenwood springs go out to dinner you know have a have a nice little night out I don't know in the I middle don't of our trip downtown i'm gonna take you downtown glenwood <laughs> springs babe you ready to do holy cross huh you ready you ready to do it you gonna do the holy cross <laughs> Not even a few. Oh my goodness! That's a good one. So we're not. We just started the trail. That first obstacle. What? What'd you do, Ben? I just took the line that Kara took, and then the door said scrape. Because, because you're used to driving a what? A, a yeep. And you're driving a what? A runner. <laughs> so we've already. Uh, Holy Cross. I already got a memory from Holy Cross right there. And Robert is absolutely fantastic. Awesome. The four-wheel is more exciting than a four-runner bin than it is a Jeep. Well, apparently the trail just starts out with a boulder garden hill climb. How you liking Holy Cross so far, Goose? How you liking it? You doing good? Is it fun? Talk to me, Goose. Talk to me. Oh. Well, so far this has just been a very steep and very rocky, long hill climb. Our average has gone up to 1.6 miles an hour. Slow going, but definitely going. So far, no one's had any issues since Ben scratched Robert's forerunner. Oh, 
Good job. Woo. Oh, nice spoke too soon. Whoa, you got it? Whoa. Oh, got the bumper. Woo! Just scrape the bumper. Alright. Robert's trying the passenger line. Shows a better line than I did. I was worried about the gladiator on that rock. At this point, I'm not sure that this super long, steep, very rocky, bouldery hill climb is ever going to end. Well, the sign is a little ominous. Beyond this point, the road goes from moderate to difficult, vehicle body mechanical damage likely. Should be fun. He doesn't need much, just a little help. Right, Robert is taking the same line that Kara did. Yeah, he's good. Straight, straight, Mark. Straight, straight. I think he needs to come more driver as he comes up because he's going to get in that section. Yeah, just a little passenger. I mean passenger. Yeah, a little passenger. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Yeah. Whoa. Driver, driver. Aaron messed up all the rocks for us. Well done, sir. Well done. I don't know. That might have been stupid. <laughs> I'm scared. Might have to edit that out. <laughs> Betsy, what do you think James should do? Winch. Just winch. James is uh, <laughs> yeah. definitely the heaviest Wrangler of the bunch. With the tin on top, getting off camera like Robert did would be a bad situation. Oh, 
You're gonna have to bump up that. Because you're spinning the road. Dug yourself in a hole now. I don't know if you can really back up. All right, we got James hooked up to the back of Robert's Jeep. And you're kind of pulling me that way. There you go. All right, now turn back driver. There you go. Hold on. Yeah. All right, you're lined up well. Yeah. Well, is the trail over yet? Are we there? Thanks for your work. Good job, John. Thanks, sir. Good job. James wants to go back and try it now. <laughs> I think I think we're this is the end, right? Now we turn around and go back. <laughs> I, I appreciate you. Though. No more content for me. <laughs> All right, has everybody caught their breath and evaluated their life choices? I want to do over. Well, this section of trail is a very nice change of pace. It's just nice and smooth, easy going. Just Anybody to... seen a wild Dave running around lately? Oh lord, we lost Dave. <sighs> Dave's an avid hiker and he usually takes off hiking. We don't know where he goes. He just shows back up later. I either just saw him moving up ahead in the trees or it's a Sasquatch. Gorgeous waterfall. I don't know what all the fuss is about. You take a well-equipped Subaru on this section. Oh wait, but there's other sections. down they know the line so they're helping spot now which we are very appreciative of you gripping there you go keep coming keep coming don't stop don't stop keep coming
Record me getting up this. Well, I made it. I didn't get it all on film because I didn't really think it was going to be that difficult. Um, but those rocks are slick. Turtle. Ben's currently getting the forerunner through. Okay, passenger. I put whatever way I point, you gotta go. We got lots of action going on here. Right, right. You can go this way about the foot. Okay, straight. Keep going. No, because you can't get over that. Keep going. Okay, start driver's side. See if Alright, we got Kara attached to a different lock. Alright. Well, the problem is there's no winch points up here. Um, and she's just nice and turtled on the front of the diffs. Actually, on the rear control arms and front diff. Nope. Well, in uh, being went backwards, she caught her front skid plate and pulled it out. There we go. All right, driver. Driver. So we're going to have passenger side up, kind of up on that rock, onto that big rock. Straight, right there. Straighten up, straighten up. Straight, there you go. That way, whoop, that way. There you go, you got it. Got it. Take the left back. Yeah, take left. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop. Oh, oh. stop. Which point? Oh, which point? All right, now we're watching the forerunner.
There we are. The mosquitoes here are horrible. I mean, we are getting eaten alive. It's rough. Remember what I said earlier about getting the Glenwood Springs and chilling and going out to dinner and, and all that? It's 3.15 right now. We're not there yet. And then we have to turn around and go back because it's an out and back trail. It'll be faster going back because gravity. But I don't know. I think there may just be a whole bunch of whole bunch of going to bed and sleeping late in the morning. All right, Robert's turn. Crunching the skid plates. Out of that. There we go. We're over that. Got it from here. Thank goodness. Alright, I'm gonna try to spot James up. Turn to me. There you go. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. There you go. Straight. All right, whoa, 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 nope. Straighten up. There you go. There you go. There you go. Doing good. All right, good, good, good. Yep, straight, 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 straight. No turn, go straight. Climb up that rock. There you go. On your rock rail. There you go. There you go. All right, start coming. Now start coming this way now. Come hard my way the whole time. Oh, made it, made it. All right, here comes John, last one to get through this. I think we learned some lessons here, uh, but I'm pretty sure if uh, you don't see me for a while, that's because I have a uh, West Nile, bird flu, Zika virus, anything that's transmitted by mosquitoes, probably getting it right now. There you go, there you go, straighten, there you go, perfect, hold that line. Give a little driver, little driver. There you go. Hold that line. Hold that line. There we go. Oh, there he goes. 
Got it. Got it. Lessons learned from five other rigs going before you. This is hard trail. I'm exhausted. We have to go back down and we're not there yet. It's already 3.30. I know. There you go, just like that. All right, we're trying our new metalless winch hook. Oops. Helps to put in gear. Helps to go in. All right, here we go. Come on, open road winch. Well, once again, the open road 4x4 Panther Series 2, 13,000 pound winch. Did great for the Gladiator. Always happy with those winches. Link in the description. They're sponsored the channel because I believe in them and um, they got good quality products. So if you need a winch, go check it out. We made it, Ben. I'm tired. You woke me up too early. Mm -hmm. Well, we made it to Holy Cross City. Only took us five hours to get here. We gotta turn around and go back. I'm not gonna film all that unless, you know, maybe Ben rolls the full runner. I'll film that. But uh, we made it. That's it. The beautiful old mining area up here. I'm, I'm too tired, I'm gonna eat because I haven't eaten since breakfast and then even then that was just a pop tart and uh, and we'll get down. So everybody is outside checking out the Holy Cross City. I don't know if you can kind of see it behind me. Maybe not. Mosquitoes are horrible and that is not worth it. There's like a little building out there and this has been a really long trail and I'm tired. Um, and so is Goose. So I'm kind of giving him a break and letting him just be held because he's been so good being in his car seat. Um, but he wants mama to hold him. And so I don't mind. Aw, who's your little baby? <laughs> Goose has been a champ. He has conquered this trail and has just done amazing. It's been a long day. He's your wingman, he's done great. 
Good job, Goose. Nothing broke. We did it! We, did it! we have officially made it to the end of Holy Cross. <laughs> and we had a little bit of body damage on the Forerunner. We had a little bit of bumper damage on the JL. Is that it? No. No, what else? My um, steering stabilizer. Steering stabilizer. Oh, yeah, steering my, stabilizer. My too. Yours did too? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. We are exhausted. It has taken us eight hours to run this trail. We're going to book it to Glenwood Springs, go out to dinner, go to our hotel. And shower. Shower. <laughs> <laughs> probably sleep in a little tomorrow. Uh, but Cruzy. as far as this trip goes, I think we've gotten the technical stuff out of the way. Tomorrow starts northern Colorado, north of I-70 and should be a bunch of beautiful scenic stuff we've never experienced any of that before um so I promise. <laughs> uh, no guarantees <laughs>
we are headed out again. Um, and this part of the trail is gonna be amazing views. I am so excited for that because I like taking pictures and I cannot wait to see the places that we're going. I know it's also been in Lifestyle Overland video and it's just being able to see the places that you've always watched on TV. Can't wait. Well, in typical mountain fashion, we've got a rain shower that's popped up, which is very normal. If you've, uh... Robert, you had to go off and talk about this being wet. Ooh, I bet it would be messy if it were wet. I mean, yeah. But if you've never been to the mountains before, this is a pretty common occurrence. Count on a, some kind of shower in the afternoon each day. All these wildflowers through here are gorgeous. As we mentioned, this is our first time up in this area. We are doing what we love and that's exploring new places. We've never been north of I-70 before in Colorado. And oh my gosh, it is just gorgeous up here. Very different than anything we've seen in the other areas of Colorado that we've been to. Lots more meadows and wildflowers. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna pause right here because I've got to launch my drone for this. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather it. Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Alright, where was I? Uh, the scenery was just unreal. Still is. But, uh, you know, I can only drone so much. Uh, I, I shot drone footage of what you just saw in the video. Kara then flew her drone to shoot uh, reels for Instagram and, and TikTok. So if you're not uh, following us on Instagram and TikTok, uh, Ozark Overland Adventures, uh, go do that. Kara does some amazing, amazing work there. She handles all that stuff and she's really good at it. So it's no secret that I love a good technical trail. I mean, I love pushing my Jeep to see what all it can do, what it can conquer. So that was, you know, what we were doing the first three days of this trip was running uh, more technical trails like Holy Cross yesterday, uh, Radical Hill the first day. Now we're just exploring Northern Colorado and oh my gosh, it's amazing. I am having such a good time right now. Just seeing all these amazing things, all these beautiful places. This is what I love to do. Man, this is, this is what we want to do in three years when we hit the road full time, is just explore and go see what kind of amazing things we can find.
What's this stone structure up here on the left? I think that's natural. It's just uh, where God dropped some rocks. If we get uh, camp by a lake, are you going to get your paddle boards out and your inflatable kayaks? Oh, the paddle board's definitely coming out. Stars could be very good tonight, too, uh, depending on where we uh, camp. got to this incredible campsite on this lake and I found it um, with Gaia's overland lair there's a little campsite indicated there uh, there's actually someone in that spot um, but then I saw this little road and zoom here there's that little campsite um, marker there and lo and behold it's this incredible campsite so thanks Gaia good job you like it Ben Ready to swim? Oh, I'm ready. It's gonna be great. Getting on my paddleboard. Not as cold as Devil's Punch Bowl, but I'm sure it'll still be chilly. And there's a little spot right oh, here. You can jump from this. That's not deep enough. Yeah, oh, if you jump out there. I mean, maybe. If you jump out there, it's plenty deep enough. Yeah. I'll test Got it. a goose. No. Uh -uh. Goose is like, I'll do it. Goose, I won't go swimming. I'll go swimming, man. Goose can't go swimming. We don't have a life jacket. Oh. Well, we pretty much got camp set up and just really soaking this in. What? I found her. You found her? Oh. Um, we've been we've been missing my wife. She's uh she's over there somewhere. She didn't swim. I don't know if you can see. Uh, her and Goose apparently went for a walk. I mean it's a beautiful place to walk. But I mean I, I don't know that we could have picked a better campsite. It is absolutely stunning. What do you think? Best campsite ever? I don't think you can beat Paradise, Paradise Divide. Oh, Paradise Divide. I, I gotta be honest. honest. But we didn't sleep good there because we were like 13,000 feet elevation. That's true. That's true. But, but yeah, Paradise Divide is pretty this gorgeous. Is, this is, Porcupine Rim, also gorgeous. This is up there. But very windy. This is beautiful. But And the mosquitoes haven't been bad here. Not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. Wood. But we got uh, great plans for dinner. I know there's a, multiple steaks being cooked. We're cooking elk fillets and some purple sweet potatoes. Um, grocery store didn't have regular sweet potatoes, but they had these really weird purple ones. So we're going to try those. And uh, there's fajitas going on. What are y'all cooking? We're doing grilled chicken and squash. Grilled chicken and squash. So I think we're going to have an amazing time around the camp. It's, it's only 530, so we got a lot of time to enjoy this.
right, for dinner tonight, we've got purple sweet potatoes that we've never had before. And then we've got an elk filet that we've also never had before from the Honest Bison. I continue to be impressed by the meat that I'm getting from this company. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. So we're gonna try that tonight. The sweet potatoes are going in my Coleman oven. My daughter would be jealous of that thing. I wouldn't have taken off that. You. She got an inflatable kayak for a few years ago. Well, it's a, it's a rat. Yeah. A duck James's fajita. You got some skirt steak? Uh, flank steak. Flank steak. Looks good. Peppers and onions. Looking good. You'll see what John's cooking up. Got four fillets, yeah, four fillets and, and some, some potatoes. Italian skillet potatoes. Mmm, yummy. Those are some big old fillets. Yes, sir. Dang. What do you think of the elk? Do y'all need it? Need it's better than the bison. You think so? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ben is going to try paddle boarding for the first time ever. Ooh. Do you stand with your feet at an angle? Uh, I did. Kind of like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> you need to be a little more right. There you go. A little bit. <laughs> Please fall. Please fall. <laughs> You're a lady. I think I'd rather do Holy Cross again. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly pack raft that we got at Expo Pacific Northwest. A sunset sail? Why yes, let's. let's go. How's it feel? Well, that's a little chilly. I bet it is. Trying out some Colorado leaf there. I can see the bottom from here. Yep, there went a leech. Did it? Ooh, I do see the bottom. Look at the grass. I know. There's another leech. I think that's the only thing in this lake is leeches. Oh. <laughs> Don't try to push. Ben, don't do that. That's just, I knew you would. <laughs> do it. <laughs> You're not making me fall in leech lake. Ben? <laughs> oh, I got like a little, a little lagoon dock. Come here and help me, babe. I'm gonna get off this thing yeah, before. Right this, this is a cool little spot right here. It is. Oh. There we go. We've had an incredible time tonight sitting around the campfires. The sunset tonight has been gorgeous. So this is 
Well, this may be my favorite camp spot in the history of ever. It, it's pretty darn awesome. We've got three more days on this trip to go. Um, and it, it's, uh, if, it, if the rest of it is like today, it's just gonna be bonkers beautiful. You want some breakfast? There you go. Hi, ready? <laughs> Dave has found a creative way to dry off his rain fly. Today on the agenda uh, is, let's go see what we can find. We have no agenda. We're just exploring from you know, wherever we break camp and leave and go till about five o'clock and then try to find a new camp to set up and, you know, just chill and hang out. Uh, but I think we're ready to go. Camp is, uh, is all put away and we're gonna hit the trail. Well, it's going to be real hard to pop this campsite, but we're going to try. That's twice now. You've never really went off the road because you're flying your drone. These fields of flowers are just so beautiful. That's my kind of road. This trail has just been unreal gorgeous. For a lot of the day yesterday and so far starting out today, we're, we're kind of on a plateau. Um, we're staying consistently well above 10,000 feet, um, 10,547 right now. And I don't think we've dipped down below 10,000 for a long time. Um, we haven't had any real steep hill climbs or any steep descents or anything like that. So. Um, just been cruising around up here above 10,000 feet and the wildflowers are just bonkers. It's really hard not for me to just be constantly flying my drone or constantly videoing because it's just so gorgeous. But the, the, the road is uh, uh, definitely rough in places. So you can't, uh, you can't get too relaxed soaking in the scenery because you'll, you'll hit a, a rock or a, a big rut in the road unexpectedly and to get whiplash, which is not good. Um, but we're just gonna keep cruising and soaking it in. This is gonna be a good day. Terrain's starting to get a lot more rocky on the hillsides now.
of that mud hole looked a whole lot worse than it was. those tall bluff lines in the distance that's where we're headed we will be up on top of those here in a little bit That sign at the beginning of this uh, trail where it said not suitable for two-wheel drive vehicles was definitely right. And yeah, this has gotten interesting this morning. Take that road all the way to the top, and then we're going that way. This has been a heck of a hill climb. It's a good one. It didn't look that bad from down below, but it's steep and rocky. I like it. What an incredible trail. Absolutely beautiful and fun. God, this has been fun. Hello. How's it going? Going good. You having fun? Oh yeah. yeah. That was a fun hill climb. Yeah, it was. This whole trail, this may be like my favorite of the trip. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's got technical spots. I mean, this has got it all. How's Goose doing? He's doing good. Is he loving it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing great. What you thinking, Ben? I got dust in my eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an awesome trail, though. It's so relief. Awesome trail. I think this is my favorite one so far. It's really good. the whole good. trip. It's been good. It's got it all. It's been really good. I think my Carla? Stock, my stock done that. Are you back hey, there somewhere? I'm back here. Hello. She's back there somewhere. Good grief. I've got her. Y'all got her packed in. Yeah. I mean, at least it's when you get to the, the rough stuff, she's got pillows to. Pillows. Yeah, exactly. I Little airbags. Yeah. <laughs>
Luke 12, 28, if God gives such attention to the wildflowers, most of them never even seen, don't you think he'll attend to you, take pride in you, and do his best for you? I'd say that's very appropriate right now. Yes, love. Thank you for planning this. This is beautiful. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> well, we have found an incredible overlook on this ridge line. I mean, check it out. Look at that. Golly, what a view. You know, we got a big snow drift right here. Have a snowball fight up here on the on the bluff. John's going down. Yeah. He's gonna get him some he snow. Gotta touch it. He gotta get the snow. He doesn't get much snow in southern Arkansas. Mm -mm. Matt, will you give us twenty bucks if we both jump in that? Uh <laughs> I will uh I'll watch you fall down the cliff. <laughs> it is very firm, but Oh. He can handle he, he's got a lot more balance than we do. Come up here. I know. Hey, Goose. Get my picture, Ben. Goose, here, Come here. Get my picture, Ben. Ben, do not get on that. Don't get on that. Ben, no. Come out of the picture. He's need a snowball. I want to take a picture too. Take snowball? Take pictures of a lake. Please come back. Come on. Ben's terrifying people. He needs my. No. Ben needs my safety second shirt from Sean at the Story Till Now. Get it at dirtyanddangerous.com just like we did. Stupid first, not safety stupid second. Stupid first. <laughs> yeah. Ben, you need your own shirt. Stupid first, not safety second. It's solid ice. It ain't going nowhere. Come here, Goose. Come on, Goose. There you are. What are you doing? You got a flower in your mouth. Well, after that last overlook, we found this little offshoot trail. They came here, and it was a great spot for lunch. The, God, the colors in that lake down there are gorgeous. But this view just, man, they just don't quit. And it would be an amazing camping spot for like one to two vehicles, but that's it. But, oh, it's just so gorgeous. What do you think, John? It's amazing. It's amazing. Well, the Alpine Lakes down below. It's pretty sweet. Well, we're working our way down the back side of where we ate lunch. And I mean, everywhere is just, it's just so unbelievably gorgeous. And I mean, it's just now 12.15 in the afternoon. And I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I've already gotten so much footage that uh, it may be a long one. So anyway, uh, if it is, if it is long, I uh, hope you enjoy it, um, but, we have not seen what we saw one one four-wheeler when we were at uh before we stopped for lunch we saw one one couple on a four-wheeler and that's the only humans that we have seen all day today and this this is why we do this i mean, look at this I, look at this look, look over there and then look over here and then look over here hey I mean, this this is why we do this because I mean, yeah, you can see some amazing things in the national parks and the state parks and stuff like that, but you're surrounded by a bunch of people and, you know, all that stuff. We're out here all alone. We got this, we got this all to ourselves. 
just us and the chipmunks and the marmots and occasionally a deer. Haven't seen a moose yet, at least not on this not in this area. But th this this is why. So I hope th I hope that this inspires you to to get off pavement because uh, that's where the good stuff is. That, that, that's where you find it. stretch of road here lots of great campsites along it I've been marking them as uh, as we've driven by just you know for our patrons if they're in this area finding places to camp pretty easy I mean there's there's a lot of really big ones really nice ones tucked back into the trees I mean, look at that one you see it very good look at that one that's gorgeous But we are still just driving along. We are now on a much smoother road. Uh, it's got a, a bench and a big fire ring and a log. But we're in an area where larger RVs and stuff can get to. So I'm curious to see what, what else we'll find. I'm not sure how long this stretch of road lasts. But so far, up to now, we've only gone 20 miles. So it's probably good to hit some smooth dirt for a while. Cover some ground, because this is like a, my route is like 300 miles, and we've only done like 40 in the last two days. We're not getting very far. It's crazy how you, you turn a corner on the trail and all of a sudden it becomes a graded forest service road. And you're now down into the trees and just cruising along. Well, we did manage to find a nice large spot to camp uh, in this beautiful Aspen. Is it, is it Aspen Grove? Is it Aspen Grove? Aspen Grove. In this beautiful Aspen Grove. Um, I mean, there's, there's no lake. There's no stream. But we got aspens and somehow there's no bugs. So that's a win. Um, we're all just setting up camp. And I think it's gonna be a good night. It's uh, six o'clock, so an hour later than we normally would, would want to camp. You can see <laughs> Ben's using his CO2 tank to blow off the dust on the back of the forerunner. <laughs> Ben's cooking up burgers for his family. Did you buy those with the cheddar already in there? Yep. That's cheating. Oh, nice. It's easy. Looks good. All right, dinner's on. Let's see how well this works. James has some ribeyes and some green beans going on the skriddle. Oh, you already got one cooked. Got one cooked. Got one done. Like that, the, the appetizer steak. All right, the pizza's going on. There we go. Oven is on. All right, She's pizza's done. ready. All right. Oh. Meat lovers and cheese. Man, pizza at camp. That's awesome. For reference, in this video, we did not cut down an aspen. Yes. <laughs> you know, it was already at camp. It was actually crossing the road and someone else caught it. It had already fallen. There we go. Nice. You got that on video, right? Yes, it did. Okay, good. Well, dinner's done, cleaned up. Even had dessert. Ben had some cinnamon rolls. We cooked those on the trail fire grill. A little pizza oven thing. Turned out pretty darn good. Uh, we've just been goofing off. A little axe throwing with a aspen log that Ben found. Not it's cut down. Cut. It was already cut. Um, <laughs> And now we're just chilling around camp. Occasionally the wind blows and the aspens leaves rustle and do their little aspen song. It's really nice.
It didn't work very well. I tried. Good morning. Good morning. It is day six of our Northern Colorado adventure. We're all packed up. Unfortunately, James had to leave us early today. He got a phone call that his mom was sick. Um, so they had to cut out early uh, to go check on her. So that's a bummer. We miss you, James. Love you and Betsy. Um, can't wait to do it again. So our agenda for today is to just keep exploring. Um, we, we have no real agenda. We've got no you know, real final destination. We'd like to get to Rocky Mountain National Park, but uh, if we don't, it's all right, we'll come back and do it again. So we're just gonna keep exploring and it's a, it's a beautiful day. I would very much like to get up to a little higher elevation. We're at like 8,000 feet right now and it didn't get super cool last night. So I'd love to, to be back maybe above 10,000 feet tonight. just stopped for gas at a little town called Oak Creek. Cute little town. We got a little bit of highway and county road to go before we get to the next trail. But it's beautiful here. I don't mind driving on pavement when it's this beautiful. I love this Colorado countryside with all the old barns and old structures. It's just beautiful. Uh, we made it to dirt again. It's very great at dirt. Well, let's go see what we can find. Bunch of campsites in this area. Easy to get to campsites. So lots of little RVs. Big RVs. next to the highway wouldn't be very quiet and peaceful but if you really want to get out and find the secluded campsites you got to get off the graded roads because you know the, the RVs and the van lifers car campers uh, they can they can get to these so there's 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 a whole lot of, of those people so if you want to find the good campgrounds you got to get into the more rough stuff so hopefully we'll find some some more rugged technical trails here in, in a little bit. Behind the scenes goose cam. This is what he does. All day. Let's well, ride camp. And then he's not eating nothing. It's sad to see this area all burned up like this. Yeah, but it's a, it's a necessary process. On uh, Glacier, they were talking about that, how certain kind of pine cones literally have to have a forest fire for them to germinate. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere gonna cry when you're gone. What is Smokey the Bear's catchphrase? Only you can prevent forest fires. What about lightning? That's what I've been sitting here thinking. I'm like, that's such a false statement. It says only you can prevent them, 
not only you can start them. This wildfire area was part of the Silver Creek wildfire back in 2018 that lasted from July to October and engulfed more than 20,000 acres. That summer was particularly dry, and this is one of 229 wildfires that burned in Northwest Colorado that year, one of the worst on record. While the Silver Creek fire was caused by a lightning strike, seeing the destruction four years later reminds us to never be careless with our campfires, our vehicles, cigarette butts, since 85% of all wildfires are caused by humans. We've been driving for a few hours now, and so far, I mean, we're just cruising on dirt roads. I mean, they're pretty, but uh, I mean, no, nothing particularly wowing us. Um, this route National Forest is radically different than where we came from the last few days. Uh, this one is a lot different. Just down in the trees, no, no streams, no beautiful, you know, bluff line views. Uh, we're about to pop on the highway for just a couple miles and then get back off again. I'm hoping it uh, gets a little bit different there. driver this whole time if these drone shots aren't as epic as Rob's you just have to be wasted Dave's time. I hope to make Rob proud. It's amazing what just crossing the highway can do for the terrain and the scenery. While this trail wasn't technical at all, the views opened up and we had some nice shelf roads to enjoy, making for a much better day.
Well, we found a nice little spot for lunch uh, just outside of Radium Springs. Sounds like something from the Cars movie. But just down there is the Colorado River. Uh, I was hoping we'd have a view of it, but, you know, trees. But, but it's down there, promise. We saw it earlier. Um, just stopping for a quick lunch and potty breaks and gonna continue on. We have definitely moved into a more high desert type of environment here. So the terrain has changed quite a bit from where we started. Um, lots of variety on this, um, on this trip with the high wildflowers and the alpine lakes. And now we're down in the more uh, high desert kind of area. It's uh, been a lot of variety. I definitely have my preferences over which ones I like better, but uh, it's been good. So we're gonna we're gonna carry on. Well, we've decided to call an audible here, and we're airing up our tires, and we're actually gonna go to Rocky Mountain National Park right now. We're only an hour from there. And I, I think Robert and Carrie are gonna get us a, uh, get all of us an Airbnb or something for the night. And then we'll come, I think actually gonna come back to Rocky Mountain National Park tomorrow and try to experience all that there is. Um, so uh, we're, we're airing up and then we're gonna head to Rocky Mountain National Park and see what we can find. And um, it, it should be good. So don't go anywhere. We, we got some cool stuff coming up. Well, we made it into the park and it's pouring down rain. There's actually a flash flood watch right now. That's going to make it real interesting. All right, this is kind of crazy. We are climbing an elevation through the park. We're at 9,700 feet elevation right now. And it's been raining and we are seeing cars pass us with snow on the hoods and we're there's snow on the side of the road here too so either it's still snowing up here or it was snowing really hard up here earlier um that's just that's crazy the temperature is steadily falling it's 46 degrees which is the coldest temperature we have encountered during the daytime on this entire trip but god driving through this park is gorgeous <laughs> driving on slush at the end of July. All right, shift into four low. And there's a decent amount of snow up there on the hillside. That's crazy. Crazy. See, told you. A big guy. There's two of them now. An even bigger one just came out. Wow. And now a third one's coming out. God, look how big those antlers are. Wow. Well, 
that was, it was absolutely like a awesome. Car and the bigger ones just keep coming. Yeah, true. That 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 made my day. That was awesome. Um, those three big elk getting that close. That was awesome. I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not want to come to Rocky Mountain National Park today. I wanted to continue on trail. I wanted to camp tonight. <sighs> but I am so glad we did. I, I, I have no regrets in coming here now because the scenery is unreal. And we saw the elk and it snowed. And now I know that I'm super pumped about coming back tomorrow and just really just spending all day here. There's a, uh, there's a dirt road called Falls River Road um, that we're going to come in on tomorrow. And I'm super pumped about that. Now there's like a waterfall along it. It's, it's the old road that used to, to come through here. And, and, and I'm really pumped. Well, we just had an amazing dinner in Estes Park. Now we're just walking around downtown. This is such a cool town. Um, getting some getting some dessert, some, some ice cream and some taffy. Goose has on his Ozark Overland Adventure shirt. I can't walk. Well, we have made it to our campsite for the night. The very fancy La Quinta Inn and Suites campsite. A uh, little, uh, a little less rough in it tonight. Goose. Nope. Don't you bite the camera. Goose. Nope. Stop it. You got the zoomies. Ah, don't bite the camera. Today is day seven of our seven and a half day trip through northern Colorado. And all of our friends that were with us had to start the journey home this morning. But we don't have to start the journey home until tomorrow. So we've got... All well, day. Well, I was about to say the whole park to ourselves, but it's actually quite crowded today. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. That's right. And so we are just going to spend all day soaking in everything that we can in this park. We, yeah. We've already seen three moose and, and we just moose. got here. Mooses. Mooses? Mooses. 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 Moose eye. <laughs> <laughs> so what you what, what are we going to do? Are we, are we going so hiking? So we're going to go, yeah we may do a little hiking. We also have goose so it depends on I have a whole brochure on what he can do and what he can't. Oh yeah because it's a lot of the trails aren't pet friendly. Yeah um but that's okay. I mean he's still here and we can do some of the trails. Some of the trails are. Um, Old Falls Road. It's a dirt road one way and it goes up to the top of the Alpine, I think, Visitor Center. Yep. It's the right it's the original road through the area yeah. connecting Estes Park to whatever's on the other side. It's the OG. <laughs> the, yeah. It's the OG road. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take that. It's 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 all dirt and I think it'll be beautiful and follows the Falls River or yeah. Fall River. And I think there's a waterfall. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go find that. like the warning sign, narrow steep switchbacks. I like it. Let's do it. The 
old Fall River Road opened in 1920 and is the only dirt road in the park and is open during a short window from July to September. It's a very mild one-way road with nothing technical on it except for several nice switchbacks and some steep drop-offs that you want to avoid. The most challenging part of this road is keeping your eyes on it to avoid those steep drop-offs and not constantly staring at the amazing views along the way. Man, Chasm Falls was gorgeous. This, I'm so glad we chose to come in on the old dirt road because it's just incredible. Caution, dangerous snowfields ahead. Ooh. All right, that better not be lying to me. There better be some snowfields up here. Otherwise, that's just a big lie. And I'm gonna be real disappointed. Let's see. Excuse me, Mr. Marmot. You're gonna get run over. Yeah, that's a good idea. You better go that way. said snow fields ahead danger there have been no snow fields yet and there's no snow there was actually some snow yesterday when we came over um, it snowed we didn't get to see it snow but we saw the after snow but there's no snow fields today so that sign is wrong at least so far there's some snow fields in the distance they don't pose any danger to us. Just want to see a bear. Me too, baby. Me too. made it up to the Alpine Visitor Center and dang it's crowded today it was not this crowded yesterday well we had a nice little lunch up here at the Visitor Center with an amazing view it's just incredible tons of people were around here lots of people loving on goose I don't know where we're going now where are we going now to the jeeps, to the jeeps to the where? Right. To the jeeps to go see what we can find. We haven't really looked at our map yet very good to even see what our hiking options are. 
They are limited with a dog. We are very limited with a dog. We, Kara wanted to go up there, but no dogs allowed on that one. And it, it looks like a great little trail for dogs. Yeah. But no. All right, we're gonna go find a trail for dogs. Well, I went and talked to a ranger at the visitor center and just asked if there were any trails that a dog on leash was allowed to go on. And the answer was no. Um, I mean, I knew national parks were real picky about pets. I didn't realize just how strict they were until we have brought a pet into um, Rocky Mountain National Park. So I get why people get upset about it, but I mean, that's, that's the rules. And it's just, we brought a pet, so we, uh, we have to deal with that. And just we're just gonna go see what we can find. I mean, the views like this are quite unreal. Well, we've stopped at the Colorado River Trailhead so I can run down there and just go take a look at the Colorado River. Kara's going to stay back with Goose and I think pull her seat back and take a nap. But I wanted to go at least see how long of a hike this is just to get down to the river. That's all I want to do. I didn't really expect for it to go up. I expected it to go down. You know, because that's where the rivers are, right down. Not that this is going to be fun to come back up. I just really was, you know, hoping there'd be a, a deer or something in that field. But it wasn't. But there is a beautiful river here. You know, I don't know what it is, but I just love having my feet in a mountain stream like this. So I wear sandals everywhere because I don't care how cold the water is. If there's a stream nearby, my feet are getting in them. If I had all day, I would be perfectly happy just walking this river and seeing what all I could find. I think that'd be a pretty, pretty incredible way to spend the day. It just, it, it blows my mind that this is the same body of water that carved the Grand Canyon. I mean, just, just this little mountain stream here is what carved the Grand Canyon however many miles away from here. Oh, but here it is just absolutely gorgeous as a beautiful crystal clear mountain stream. I love it. This right here is my favorite part of Rocky Mountain National Park. I could just stay here all day. But unfortunately, I don't get to stay here all day. Karen and I have other things we want to do, and tomorrow we have to start the journey home. So I'm going to turn around and go back the way I came. Oh, there's a deer. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She didn't even see me yet. Gosh, oh, she's so beautiful.
oh my gosh, that was incredible. I, I don't think I've ever had that close of an encounter with a deer before. Gosh, she was gorgeous. I was just standing there perfectly still, trying to not spook her. And mosquitoes were just biting me and I could feel them. But I didn't want to swat at them because I didn't want to startle her. But God, that was incredible. Making my way back down, starting to sprinkle. Oh gosh, that was awesome. Okay, I'm gonna head, oh my gosh. I don't know if that's the same one or another one. Uh, it's gotta be another one down there. You see it? Just making its way through the trees. I'm only like 10 feet from her. This is incredible. Okay, that was absolutely the highlight of my day. Being able to get that close to two beautiful deer. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. That, that was incredible. I got some good photos of it too. Wow. Do those two Jeeps just not look incredible together? I just think those are such good looking Jeeps. And I am particularly fond of my wife's Wrangler. I mean, isn't it gorgeous? That thing is just beautiful. But this Jeep has performed so well on this trip. Um, not real impressed with the quality of the, the steel on this fishbone uh, front skid plate here. Uh, it, I think it peeled away a little too easy on that rock on Holy Cross. I, I think that could have been a little stronger. I don't think mine would have done that. But, God, what a gorgeous Jeep. Did you have a good nap? I saw two doe and got like within 10 feet of, of one of them. Really? Oh, it was so close. She was gorgeous. I was within, within five feet of a goose. You were. He looks pretty he ferocious. Was, he was snoring. And, <laughs> were you and snoring? I was. I was. Hey. Well, we left the park for a minute to come into Grand Lake, which is a cool little town. We've got some, got some sorbet and some crushed lemonade and, and some a bread mix that we're going to try in Kara's Omnia oven on our next trip. But Kara's in the store. I'm out here watching Goose. He's uh, he's getting all the attention from all the kids, all the ladies. Um, He's he's definitely the most popular person in town right now. Yeah, like Top Gun. Like he's a little newborn. Yeah, he's only five months old. He's just a baby. Yeah. Is he a little big? He's like no, but you don't have to count. This is what Goose does when he's done. Come on, Goose. Come on, Goose. Come on. Come on. I know you like that good stuff. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> we had such a great time in Grand Lake. What a cool town. Um, it didn't even touch on the fact that there's a massive lake over there and tons of like lake things to do. Um, ooh, cool bug bike course too. Anyway, we are going to zip back through Rocky Mountain National Park, go to for sure one, if not two of the other visitor centers so that Kara can get her stamps and her National Park Passbook or Passport Book, I'm not sure what it's called, and then go into Estes Park to walk around and have dinner there tonight, just the two of us and, and Goose. So that's the plan, uh, I'm going to zip back through the park again.
front lift on. The little guy's limping. The bull for this herd is up there. He's not near as big as the ones we saw yesterday. So why does he get all the ladies? Uh, that's uh, that's pretty awesome. That's a big elk herd. Just just right here on the road. Because I guess roadkill doesn't happen in Rocky Mountain National Park. That'd be real big roadkill though. That hurts your car. We're eating dinner at the Rock Inn Mountain Tavern here in Estes Park. Um, I met the owner, his name is Tim. This is his Colorado ZR2 with the Alu cab on the back. Um, he's even got the, the heater option. Little chimney coming out the back. Uh, this is a sweet rig. So, Tim, if you watch this video, love your ZR2. It is beautiful and can't wait to try your food. So, for dinner, I totally forgot to video the appetizer, which was unreal. That's because we ate it so That's fast. That's because we ate it so fast. Well, there's still some French bread. There's some bread. Um, bison meatballs um, and a gravy, and Kara got the filet with some, some shrimp. shrimp. But I will not be able to eat all this. Nope. Um, this is going to be awesome. Well, we're back at our campsite, the La Quinta Inn and Suites campsite in Loveland, Colorado. And God, we've had a good day. We've had a real good day. Lots of wildlife, which was, which was really cool. And man, Tim with dinner tonight was fantastic. It was just a really special day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I know this episode was a little different than the norm, but we had a blast, so I hope I hope you liked it. Uh, if you would, uh, subscribe if you're not already. Uh, like the video, check out our Patreon, and Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise. Go to shopoverlandapparel.com. We're really tired, so it just made that really brief. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.